Intermittent Fasting What is intermittent fasting? Many diets focus on what to eat, but intermittent fasting is all about when you eat. Intermittent fasting is an eating plan that switches between fasting and eating on a regular schedule. Research shows that intermittent fasting is a way to manage your weight and prevent, or even reverse, some forms of disease. With intermittent fasting, you only eat during a specific time window. Fasting for a certain number of hours each day, or eating just one meal a day for a couple days per week, can help your body burn fat. And scientific evidence points to some health benefits, as well. Johns Hopkins neuroscientist Mark Matson, PhD, has studied intermittent fasting for 25 years. He says that our bodies have evolved to be able to go without food for many hours, or even several days or longer. In prehistoric times, before humans learned to farm, they were hunters and gatherers who evolved to survive and thrive, for long periods without eating. They had to. It took a lot of time and energy to hunt game and gather nuts and berries. Nowadays, TV, internet, and other entertainment are available 24 by 7. We stay awake for longer hours to catch our favorite shows, play games, and chat online. We're sitting and snacking all day, and most of the night. Extra calories and less activity can mean a higher risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and other illnesses. Scientific studies are showing that intermittent fasting may help reverse these trends. How does intermittent fasting work? Matson says that after hours without food, the body exhausts its sugar stores and starts burning fat. He refers to this as metabolic switching. Intermittent fasting contrasts with a normal eating pattern for most Americans, who eat throughout their waking hours, Matson says. If someone is eating three meals a day, plus snacks, and they are not exercising, then every time they eat, they are running on those calories and not burning their fat stores. Intermittent fasting works by prolonging the period when your body has burned through the calories consumed during your last meal and begins burning fat. Intermittent Fasting Plans It's important to check with your doctor before starting intermittent fasting. Once you get his or her go-ahead, the actual practice is simple. Here are some most popular plans. One you can pick a daily approach, which restricts daily eating to one 8-hour period each day. For instance, you may choose to try 16,8 fasting, eating for 8 hours and fasting for 16. Most people find it easy to stick with this pattern over the long term. Another more effective plan is called 20,4 fasting, in which you only eat during a 4-hour window each day, say between 12 noon and 4 p.m., and nothing else except water for the remaining 20 hours. To another, known as the 5,2 approach, involves eating regularly 5 days a week. For the other 2 days, you limit yourself to one 500 to 600 calorie meal. An example would be if you chose to eat normally on every day of the week except Mondays and Thursdays, which would be your one meal days. 3. The Warrior Diet was popularized by fitness expert Ori Hofnikler. It involves eating small amounts of raw fruits and vegetables during the day and eating one huge meal at night. Basically, you fast all day and feast at night within a 4-hour eating window. The warrior diet was one of the first popular diets to include a form of intermittent fasting. This diet's food choices are quite similar to those of the paleo diet, mostly whole, unprocessed foods. 4. Spontaneous Meal Skipping You don't need to follow a structured intermittent fasting plan to reap some of its benefits. Another option is to simply skip meals from time to time, such as when you don't feel hungry or are too busy to cook and eat. However, some people eat every few hours lest they hit starvation mode or lose muscle. Others' bodies are well equipped to handle long periods of famine and can miss one or two meals from time to time. You know yourself best. So, 
If you're really not hungry one day, skip breakfast and just eat a healthy lunch and dinner. Or, if you're traveling somewhere and can't find anything you want to eat, you may be able to do a short fast. Skipping one or two meals when you feel inclined to do so is basically a spontaneous intermittent fast. Just make sure to eat healthy, balanced meals during the non-fasting periods. Longer periods without food, such as 24, 36, 48, and 72-hour fasting periods, are not necessarily better for you, and may be dangerous. Going too long without eating might actually encourage your body to start storing more fat in response to starvation. Benefits of Intermittent Fasting Research shows that the intermittent fasting periods do more than burn fat. Matson explains, when changes occur with this metabolic switch, it affects the body and brain. Many things happen during intermittent fasting that can protect organs against chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, age-related neurodegenerative disorders, even inflammatory bowel disease and many cancers, he says. Here are some intermittent fasting benefits research has revealed so far. Thinking and memory. Studies discovered that intermittent fasting boosts working memory in animals and verbal memory in adult humans. Heart health. Intermittent fasting improved blood pressure and resting heart rates as well as other heart-related measurements. Physical performance. Young men who fasted for 16 hours showed fat loss while maintaining muscle mass. Mice who were fed on alternate days showed better endurance in running. Diabetes and obesity. In animal studies, intermittent fasting prevented obesity. And in six brief studies, obese adult humans lost weight through intermittent fasting. Tissue health. In animals, intermittent fasting reduced tissue damage in surgery and improved results. What can I eat while intermittent fasting? During the times when you're not eating, water and zero-calorie beverages such as black coffee and tea are permitted. And during your eating periods, eating normally does not mean going crazy. You're not likely to lose weight or get healthier if you pack your feeding times with high-calorie junk food, supersized fried items and treats. Johns Hopkins dietitian Christy Williams explains, it allows for a range of different foods to be eaten and enjoyed. We want people to be mindful and take pleasure in eating good, nutritious food, she says. She adds that eating with others and sharing the mealtime experience adds satisfaction and supports good health. Williams, like most nutrition experts, regards the Mediterranean diet as a good blueprint of what to eat, whether you're trying intermittent fasting or not. You can hardly go wrong when you pick complex, unrefined carbohydrates such as whole grains, leafy greens, healthy fats, and lean protein. Is intermittent fasting safe? Some people try intermittent fasting for weight management, and others use the method to address chronic conditions, such as irritable bowel syndrome, high cholesterol, or arthritis. But intermittent fasting isn't for everyone. Williams stresses that before you try intermittent fasting, or any diet, you should check in with your primary care practitioner first. Some people should steer clear of trying intermittent fasting, such as, children and teens under age 18, women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, people with diabetes or blood sugar problems, those with a history of eating disorders. But, Williams says, people not in these categories who can do intermittent fasting safely can continue the regimen indefinitely. It can be a lifestyle change, she says, and one with benefits. Keep in mind that intermittent fasting may have different effects on different people. Talk to your doctor if you start experiencing unusual anxiety, headaches, nausea, or other symptoms after you start intermittent fasting. Which intermittent fasting is best for weight loss? Author Brad Pilon in his book Eat Stop Eat, The Shocking Truth That Makes Weight Loss Simple Again, says, occasional fasting combined with regular weight training is best for fat loss. By going on one or two 24-hour fasts during the week, you allow yourself to eat a slightly higher amount of calories on the other five or six non-fasting days. 
that, he says, makes it easier and more enjoyable to end the week in a calorie deficit without feeling as if you had to be on an extreme diet. How much can you lose with intermittent fasting? The amount of weight you can lose through intermittent fasting depends on your starting weight, medical conditions, type of food you eat on your non-fasting days, and other factors like your lifestyle, age, and activity level. For example, if you choose to eat sugary desserts, drinks, and refined, ultra-processed carbs during your non-fasting days, a fast may not help you lose body fat. However, if you pair intermittent fasting with healthy eating, you can experience healthy weight loss. A systematic review of 40 studies published in Molecular and Cellular Endocrinology found intermittent fasting was effective for weight loss with a typical loss of 7 to 11 pounds over 10 weeks. If you weigh roughly 200 pounds, that equals a 5% loss of your total body weight in just 10 weeks. You might want a quick weight loss fix, but experts recommend you don't try to speed up the process. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, and the UK's National Health Service, NHS, recommend you shoot for a safe rate of 1 to 2 pounds per week. According to the CDC, if you lose weight gradually and safely, you'll be more successful at keeping it off. So, the average weight loss per week with intermittent fasting is safe, effective, and long-term. Health is very important to everyone. Don't let other activities consume all of your time and energy. Proper awareness and attention to early signs of abnormal symptoms are keys to keep us healthy. Early treatment is always more effective than late emergency actions. May you stay healthy and have abundant of happy life. Please like and subscribe this channel for more health related videos. Thank you.